hello guys kindly check this application out when i enter a password that i can hide or show it that's cool guys let's build this using react hooks and tail when css if you want to type along with me kindly install the following one npm install react icons two npm install tailwind css slash forms now let's go to the tailwind css after installing it you copy this uh, require plugin you, you copy that then go to the what's the name the tailwind.config.js then you paste it there okay mine is here so you paste it over here so that is that you're ready to go if all said and done let's begin good thank you very much let's begin by creating two folders in our src folder call the first one assets then call the second one components good so let's take the first one assets now with the assets folder we have no images or spinners so we'll leave it blank go to the second one components let's create a file inside and call it password password app dot js now it's our boilerplate as instead of ordinary div why don't we make it we add the fragment so we say yeah, that's that create our section yeah. now inside that we can now have our div we say it's what hello good now let's link this to the app.js to view on the screen so go to app.js then we call our password app import it so we say import password app from where good components and what so that is that now let's check our screen good great we got hello on the screen means we're ready to go so to begin let's close the app for JS. then it's instead of hello let's create give it a class name class name good let's give it width we need four over five then let's give it mx auto then what again that is that now inside that let's have a div for input so we say oh, sorry input input tag now inside the input tag what do you need we need type test as password sorry password okay now inside the password we need a placeholder okay let me rewrite this nicely okay that's that so we need a placeholder here we say enter your password so that is that for the password good now let's get, make the width full Put password equals let's give width uh, full good now we come to the input let's make the width to full so what next okay let's give it height of 14 good what again and make it rounded rounded lg good what again yeah that is that for now let's give some margin top so over here we can say mt let's give it 52 Okay, we can have it down a little. See, that is that. What else? Now let's create another div to handle the i. So we say d. Inside the div, let's call the i. Let's go to React icons. Okay. Then we say i. 
So let's take the first one. Let's paste it inside. Okay. Let's paste the second one too. Same name. Then the invisible off. Now let's import both. So let's say import. Import where? Same name. Take the invisible off. Then what? From from where? From React icons. Look, slash AI. Okay. So that is that. Let's check our screen if we got them. Good, we got them here. Let's increase the size. So we say class name equals test to XL. Good. That is that. Now let's make it absolute. Absolute good. Then let's give it top. Let's give it what um, one and right. Right. Let's give it one. Then make the mother div uh, relative. Okay. So we can here relative. So it enters the what do you call it? The input box. So let's bring it to the right a little. So the right, let's say, let's make it, let's make it about five. Okay, let's go. So what we're gonna do, we need to display one, uh, what's the name? One icon at a time, okay? So we give it a state. So we say, um, import your state, okay? So we state, okay. So let's create a state now. So you say const. Let's call it what? Open slash set open equals to you state you state to back here. Let's make it false. Yeah. So next, what do we do? Let's create an on click for both buttons. So we say on click, on click. Good. Inside that we call it um, toggle. Okay. So let's we copy that the second one too. The toggle. So that is that. Now let's create a function for toggle. Okay. So via we can say what handle toggle. So oh, sorry. So we say const what handle oh, sorry const toggle equals to a function. Okay, so inside that we can say set open is what not open. So that is there. So this you handle it so that one they can have one display at a time. Good. So that is that. The function is ready. So now let's take what and condition for to display them. So we say brackets, then we say if if what if open equals to what false false then what display display what display the eye okay I'll put the eye there okay. otherwise display good so that is that so we can see when we, we can see that now we can have them so we bring it down a little top we can say top four good 
so we can now toggle through the eye now so the next thing to do is to work on the the nano it's is what it's a password so we need to make it test okay so we create an, a condition for that the class name too so we create a condition for the type 2 okay so inside the type we give it a condition then we say if so if what if open equals equals false then outside get many what then uh, which class which type give us the password otherwise give us the uh, test good so that is that for the type so you realize that when i click you can see that is that guys thank you so much for sticking to catching the next one we say peace